Hey, hey, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to answer two questions. What are the prospects of web design in 2024? And what exactly is web design in 2024? So to define web design today, we have to look at the four different specializations in web development. So you have front end developer, back end developer, full stack developer, and then you have the web designer. The web designer, you might say, you might characterize them, you might call them a branding designer or a branding web expert. It meshes in with marketing and promotion to a certain extent, but we'll get into it. This video is sponsored by Visme, which is a no-code platform, marketing platform. And specifically, they have an, a really cool forms builder that you should look into. Before I get into what web design is, in 2024 and what the job prospects are. Let me define the four web professionals. So a front end web developer would be somebody who uses a React, a Vue.js, Angular, some front end framework. And their main goal as a front end web developer is to produce some sort of app, some sort of functionality. That is the key, that is the focus. A back end web developer, Again, they're producing an app, but they're focused on back-end technologies. Could be Java, C Sharp, could be JavaScript on the server, could be Python, PHP, Ruby, what have you. They, again, are building an application, something that does something. You can think like a, uh, I don't know, an application that tracks orders for a shipping company. And then finally, you got the full-stack web developer, something I did for the longest time. You do, do both. You're creating an app from end-to-end, web-based app, and again, the main point of the work, the main goal of the work is to produce an application. So a web designer is slightly different, well, kind of different. There, there's an overlap in skill set in that the web designer has to know HTML and CSS. They need to know a little bit of JavaScript, maybe a little bit about the back end, a little bit of PHP could help, but their main goal is totally different. Their main goal is to develop an effective branding site, a site that has sales and marketing purposes. So their skill sets, again, they overlap with the other web professionals, but they are focused in a different thing. Again, the main goal is about branding and marketing and sales, not about functionality, although they do have to implement some sort of functionality many times. Most branding websites will have some sort of functionality like a contact form, like getting people to subscribe to a newsletter, that's very common. So you can have a simple landing page that has to be look good, it has to be well-formed, and it also has newsletter functionality. Well, it's bound to a newsletter service. One of the things that makes web designers valuable is their knowledge of the range of tools and software that are available to them to execute on their work. So they have to know their HTML and CSS. That's where they have to have good skills. But beyond that, they have to understand content management systems like WordPress and Drupal. They don't have to be an expert in them, but they have to understand their pros and cons, when to implement them, when they might implement a Shopify, when they might use a web flow, when they might use services like the sponsor, Visme. So one of the big advantages of Visme, it's a marketing platform. It's kind of a hybrid between design and functionality. And what they introduced to me recently was their new forms builder application. It's really cool. So it allows you to create very compelling interactive forms with 3D animated characters and you're able to do a few clicks at a button, bing, 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 outputs the code, you drop it in your site, where you go, Bob's your uncle. This is an example of a tool set that web designers in 2024 going forward should be familiar with. This is, I would consider this roughly part of the no code platforms because prior to tools like Visme, you would have to create your own forms and forget about the, the, the graphics, forget about the the visuals. I remember a few years back, I was thinking about producing a 3D character for a particular job I was working on, something for my own projects. And so I sat down, I talked to some 3D animators. It was going to be a big job. You're going to have to create the character, model it, then you would have to put in the bone system. The bone system is basically the system, the skeletal system, if you will. You put in your 3D characters to be able to animate them. And then you have to come up with the animations. It's a big job. So Visme with their forms builder application here, it's all there for you. You can choose your characters, customize it, do what you want with it, uh, choose your animations, and 
Then customize the form to match the look and the feel of your site, choose your fonts, whatever, and so on. Very powerful, makes it very easy. So why would you want to use a form builder like Viz? Why not just put a simple form? Because of conversions. When you use this animated eye candy rich form, if you will, it creates a level of entertainment and engagement with people visiting the site. So your conversions will increase quite a bit. Anybody knows that. You talk to anybody in marketing. The most important thing about a good marketing website is the UI and the UX. The UX is the usability of the site, how easy it is to find things. And UI, how beautiful the thing is, the user interface. The more interesting the visuals are, the more likely people are going to want to engage with that brand, engage with that website. So collecting email addresses for your newsletter is huge. It's huge. It's a cornerstone of marketing these days. So with the Visme Form Builder, you're able to quickly put out really compelling looking forms with the 3D characters that can be customized and so on. But in addition to that, in addition to the visual component to the service, you also have data binding. So you create your form and then you can easily, with just a couple of clicks, I did it myself and we're going to be using it on our unclesteph.com website. With just a couple of clicks, you can bind the form results to whatever service you want on the back end, whether it be a spreadsheet, whether it be MailChimp or GetResponse. I connected it to my newsletter service, GetResponse, and it, was, it literally took me 10 seconds to do. So we're working on the reskin of unclesteph.com and visuals are very important. So here is the Visme form built in. So let me just refresh. You see you got a little animation going here. Let me just load it up. Loads up pretty quickly. So I come out with a computer. So I think it adds a lot to the page, you know? You can notice that my avatar is wearing a gray hoodie, hat, glasses. Look familiar. And the final advantage, the final little bonus tool, I suppose you could say, that comes with the Visme form builder is the fact that it gives you all kinds of data, tracks data, so you can see how many people are viewing the form and so forth. Data is everything in marketing. I get sponsorship requests all the time. I refuse most of them. And the ones I do accept, you know they're good. So I'm using the Visme form builder on the unclesteph.com website. If you check it out, you can see right now it's in the middle of reskin. We're reskinning it because A, we're adding to the programs. I have to change what we display, what we uh, list based on the fact we're adding new material to the program. It's also good to just update and refresh uh, your branding sites you know, just to go with the flow. We're changing up the videos, moving up the form, adding the new Visme form because it's going to look much better. I'm implementing the Visme form builder in my own site because I know it's good. If you want to learn more about the Visme form builder, take a look at the links are below and you can check out all their other tools as well. It's a great set of tools, not just the form builder. They got all kinds of other useful tool sets. Great for web designers in 2024, that's for sure. So even though web designers are writing less code than web developers, they are still very valuable. They still have, a, there's still a level of complexity in what they do. A part of that is understanding the tool set landscape, including tools like Visme and there are other things out there like WordPress, like Shopify, understanding PayPal integration, understanding Stripe integration, all these things and so many more are part of what the professional web designer brings to the table in 2024 and going forward. So how about the job opportunities? So web designers can work for small business, medium, large business. If you're going to get into freelance, it's all about being a web designer or a full stack developer. If you want to do strictly front end or back end, you're going to find yourself working at more established businesses, building applications, medium to larger probably. And finally, in terms of education, educational levels, if you don't have an advanced degree, you can get jobs in, at any level in the development game. But if you don't have a, a university degree, it's, of course, easier to get a job as a web designer because there's a lot of small business contracts to be had as a freelancer or whatnot. And yes, web designers, once you're competent, once you're really good at what you do, you can make as much as any other type of web professional. It's just a question of, again, building up your skill sets. Whether you're a web designer in 2024, a front-end web developer, or back-end or full-stack, at the end of the day, 
The key is get your foot in the door, get that first job, even if the pay is not great at first, it will become great over the next two, three years as you build up your skills, you build up your reputation, and you're gonna do well. All right, if you have any questions or comments about this video, comment below, and don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video, Visme. Their form builder is cool. And if you go to unclesteph.com, where I have my mentoring program, I mentor people in the ways of the web and programming and development, but also freelance and small business development and so much more. I am essentially transferring my decades and decades of experience as a, as a nerd techie and as a tech entrepreneur to you guys. So you don't have to spend 20 years figuring this stuff out. You can get it right away. All right. See you in the comments. Thank you.